Hey, hello. Hey, my name is Raza, and I am trying to troubleshoot SCCM 2016 Windows Update issue. Um, as a full disclosure, hey, this is 100% non-descriptive. So I did not plan that I'm going to be recording this video, but I thought it would be a good idea. Uh, to see if I can share my experience for troubleshooting with the others. So this server is 2016 with 2016 SQL Server and 2016 um, SCCM. So everything is 2016 basically and I installed it from scratch. And here I'm going to click on a System Center Configuration Manager, and I am trying to see if the Windows updates are working or not. Um, so basically, let's troubleshoot together. See, I don't see any under any Windows updates, and I have configured everything the way it should be. Uh, so this is um, the component for software update point component properties. You can see it. Uh, this option, do not create WSS report event, is selected by default, but I change it to WSUS reporting event so I can use WSUS console actually to see uh, what's in it. Um, classification, I just, this is for testing, so I just left it as default. Product is selected as default. The schedule was for, um, for seven days, every seven days, so I change it for one hour just to see uh, if it's working or not. And this is the default setting, do not expire you know the uh, superseded software update so actually this is not relevant uh, at this point um, what relevant is it should work <laughs> um, we do synchronization So under, you know, config, configuration manager trace log tool, I mean, that's a pretty good tool and it hasn't changed much. So I'm going to check right here under WSYS, uh, WSYNC manager logs. And right now you can see 6.19 p.m. So 6 the last was at 11.30, So let's see. So these logs are old. And obviously it's going coming down. Let's try the uh, different logs. WC, WCN. This is 5.43, 5.43. So these are the last time I tried um, while I wasn't recording it so just do I already reset the WSUS server actually I removed and rebooted the server and reinstalled and that did not help it actually um,
this is my domain actually the test domain Okay, service window define the time when conflict manager can install updates to configuration manager, blah blah blah. So this one service window. There is nothing. Okay. Um, under security. So I logged in as SCCM admin right now, so it has full access security roles or has all the permissions here okay that's the different thing so actually these are the roles one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Has nothing to do with it right now. Yeah, you can see that uh, software update is not available because that's already activated. See, our best bet is to go through the tools, actually. See, it's not it's not working because this is 624, so nothing happened actually. Uh, there's no changes. There's nothing. So this was a the WSUS console actually, and here you can see. This has nothing to do with set, uh, uh, SCCM. Um, it, it just the SCCM uses WSUS to go to the, um, uh, the internet and download um, the update. So this is kind of required to have it. Uh, normally, once you set it up, uh, it you just have to activate one time, and that's it. And after that, so the WSUS seems to be working. And let's see here under C WSUS. Nope, there is nothing. Okay guys, I'm going to reboot this server one time.
and then I'm gonna get back one second okay the server is rebooted and I logged back in and let's check one more time maybe I missed a step or something let's see under okay so there's nothing so let's go and double check let's go to the site this is our site and add site system roles um, I don't want to use the computer account I want to set the, uh, the existing account which is the SCC admin and no proxy here huh really the software update point is not selected that's strange I think I, I thought I did okay um we can use either one this one was if I'm not mistaken for the earlier version of WSUS and this is for on default setting for Windows Server 2012 and obviously later so I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this one and a use credential to connect server I will use the existing one which is SCC admin and from Microsoft update and create all I mean this is not the default but I like to see if the SCCM is working fine and then that if I wanted to compare reporting between SCCM reporting and a WSS reporting that's why I chose this option and it's same as one hour do not expire because we don't care at this point and I take the default I'll take the product default huh really <laughs> uh, what is selected here let's see let's say windows okay these are selected so I'm fine and uh, I already unchecked it the last time I ran the wizard so the only English and next okay so now Okay, so let's go to the software library now for software updates, synchronize updates, and I'm going to minimize this thing just for a second. Uh, that was the earlier I was trying to do. Uh, I'm going to go back to C trace. Um, actually, open the log. Let's go to WCN. Okay, right here it says a successfully inserted WSUS enterprise. So it seems like it is successful. Yeah, this thing is this thing is successful. So let's go to a WCM log. Oh, that was a WCM log. Okay, let's go to a W Sync Manager log. Okay, so this thing was at 6.32. It says sync fail. Uh, update source not found on site blah blah blah. Get site source. Okay. Found local sync request. So once okay found one SUP and the last time we had that error like it did not find anything yep so this is the old error I think um, and so from here once we reconfigure um, it starts synchronizing it see synchronization is starting synchronizing and I think this will take the last time I did on server 2012 I had to actually <laughs> you know uh, lo log off and go to sleep and I checked the next day um, actually we should be able to see it here now um, 
Windows update. Yeah, synchronizing right here. Okay, so guys, so seems like this thing is working. Um, even if it's synchronizing, like it, you know, you get this message, so it means it is working. So uh, just to recap, um, this is a server 2012. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, this is server 2016 uh, SCCM server and it also running a SQL server 2016 uh, if you go look under SQL server 2016 64 bits and it is also um, running on Windows Server 2016 so basically it's all complete 2016 um so I'm gonna keep keep this video for for like uh, recording for uh, you know under 20 minutes um, hey this is my first video actually I was thinking about re recording the videos but I never got you know time but now I have some time so I guess I can I can record more for different features and if you do like this video please subscribe and a and a uh, if you need like any particular video you want me to record for you guys like I said I have a lot of resources to uh, build and test servers in in any configuration so so just let me know and thank you for watching my video have a good day